Hello everybody. You know, is there a single nutrient that is known to boost brain power? And the answer is yes. It's called CoQ10, coenzyme Q10. Research shows that CoQ10 boosts cellular energy in the brain. It helps the brain to work better. Evidence shows that it also helps to slow the progression of brain diseases, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. CoQ10 is natural to the body, and it's used to help create energy in your cells. Unfortunately, CoQ10 becomes depleted with age, especially if you have health issues. Uh, health issues will use up extra amounts of CoQ10. So if you have, and especially brain diseases, will use up extra amounts of CoQ10, and then you become deficient because you're using it up. Studies have found that the majority of people over age 45 are seriously deficient. I mean, that's a really significant finding. By age 70, levels can be so low that the aging process is tremendously accelerated. So then we think we're getting older. No, you're not. You're getting deficient in critical nutrients that help to keep you young. Statin drugs, people take them for cholesterol. Millions of people take them every day. Seriously deplete CoQ10. Not surprisingly, a growing number, a growing body of research links a deficiency of CoQ10 with brain diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Meanwhile, a study in Parkinsonian um, uh, and related disorders found that supplementing with CoQ10 improved Parkinson's disease symptoms. So there you go. A deficiency causes the problems, and if you have the problem and you take it, it helps them. So that's telling you something. Even if you're not suffering from brain disease, taking CoQ10 on a daily basis is just a great idea. If not only boosts brain energy, but heart energy and energy throughout the body. It's also been shown to reverse the biomarkers of diabetes and metabolic syndrome. As for dosage, 200 milligrams a day is the dose that's been used in most research studies. It's the amount I take, 200 milligrams a day. This amount's been shown to keep the arteries relaxed and flexible. And if you're suffering <clears throat> from heart disease or cancer or brain disease, you may need 400 milligrams of CoQ10 a day. So, but it's amazingly safe and well tolerated by most people. As usual, the quality of the product is critical. Unfortunately, there's an enormous amount of contradictory material out there on the internet regarding CoQ10. It's so confusing, you have to be a chemist to sort it all out. Many CoQ10 supplements, including some very expensive brands, are made with a form of CoQ10 that is so poorly absorbed, it's worthless. Much CoQ10 is synthetic, yet all the studies have shown that the benefits from CoQ10 are all conducted with natural CoQ10. So all the studies showing benefits done with natural CoQ10. So that's what you want, folks, natural CoQ10.